Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at one of my favorite filming spot locations because we have something pretty unique from Chevrolet. It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe, but guess what? This is not your normal Tahoe. It's an RST, but it's not your normal RST. This is a Tahoe RST with the performance package. So before we get into this beefed up full-size SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The Tahoe. That has been a go-to for many years when it comes to full-size SUV usability and versatility. Well, you know what? Chevrolet has done some pretty interesting performance things with some of their larger vehicles. I remember as a kid growing up and there was that Chevrolet Silverado, the 454 SS. Well, guess what? This Tahoe RST performance package can pretty much be summed up as a Tahoe SS. So what does that exactly mean? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Well, guess what? Just like the Cops TV show, this Tahoe RST performance package has a lot of the same goodies that the police spec Tahoe brings. So what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for still that full size, usability and versatility that the Tahoe is known for, is it also bringing you the best amount of performance in this segment of the auto industry? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the color. Radiant Red is one of my favorite reds from Chevrolet. It actually replaced my very own Camaro ZL11LE that is called Wild Cherry Tint Coat. This is the new color. I kind of partial to Wild Cherry, but I am digging the Radiant Red. Now at the front of the business, because this is an RST spec, and what does that mean? Rally spec truck. This has a lot of blacked out sporty goodies. So what are you gonna get? Full LED lighting, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps. I love the way they've cleaned up the front end of the Tahoe. You have these massive functional corner air curtains to smooth out the air, uh, flow of air. And then coming across that fully blacked out grill, we got of course a blacked out bow tie, your horizontal bars, and then I like each of the individual touches and a forward facing camera. Now as we go all the way down, you are getting some black chrome trim, which I like. The one zonk is, how about give me some fog lamps? Instead of giving me these fake vent areas, especially in the center, what, what is going on here? Can't we flow a little bit more air for that beefy V8? I would like to see a little bit more functionality. So fog lamps and functional vents, without those, I am gonna give it a zonk. But as we rise up, I love the hood. Looks just like your traditional Tahoe hood. Nice peak in the center. You got a big old bulge on both sides. Really gives us some nice defini definition, but here's where things get really big and pumped up. As we come around the bend, normally on the RST, you might find 22 inch wheels. Well, guess what? We got 20 inch wheels. Now you may say to yourself, well, Joe, why does this have a smaller wheel? Guess what? We could fit a more performance spec tire. So 20 inch wheel, that V spoke design, gloss black, Check out the massive Brembo calipers, as big as Ronald McDonald's shoes, bright red with the Chevrolet badge and performance badging there. Six piston is gonna allow this large SUV to shed speed just as fast as a Husky sheds hair. Now what's interesting is that with those massive calipers, brakes, and the suspension bits, that's all police interceptor spec. So if you see a police spec, Tahoe driving on the road, guess what? You have the same chassis setups, the same suspension, the same beefed up brakes and tires, those Firestone Firehawk Pursuit. You see how it says Pursuit right there? Steven's gonna show you, just so you know that I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth, Pursuit spec tires. So this is the same setup that the police have. Puts you on equal footing. No flat black around the Openings, and of course, we have four by four setup on this. Now, as we go down the side, RST, like I said, has the blacked out badges, the Tahoe name. You got Radiant Red, turn signals built in, and 360 degree cameras. What I like about the performance package is that they strip the roof rails off. No need for roof rails. We want to clean up the look, make it more aerodynamic. 
We have our stationary running boards with a little bit of gloss black along the edge. And then as we work our way towards the rear, beefy brakes out back, not the same Brembo's as up front, but still beefy. And then coming around the back, what do we have? We have some fancy touches. First of all, I love the way there's no rear wiper to show. It's tucked underneath, nice long roof spoiler. You got your blacked out badging with the Tahoe name because we're RST, LED, actually no LED. So I'm gonna have to zonk myself. We have good old fashioned Thomas Edison, brake lights, turn singles, and backup lights. So that's definitely a triple zonk. And I'm gonna have to zonk myself for not getting that right, right off the bat. But you do have your LED running lamps. So that is one part that is LED. My favorite part besides the blacked out RST badge has gotta be our quad tipped cat back exhaust, that GM performance exhaust. And then one thing you'll notice is that off of the Premier, this is the same lower bumper. So instead of having just one exhaust outlet on each side, you got the quad. And then of course this comes off so that you could tow. But let's go ahead, we're talking about performance. It's not just about suspension. It's not just about brakes and cooling. It's about performance underneath the hood. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, we got the hood pop. Now if you wondered to yourself, well Joe, does this Tahoe RST performance package sit a little bit lower? Your eyes don't deceive you. It's actually 10 millimeters lower than your standard Tahoe RST. And a lot of that has to do with the different springs that this run that this vehicle runs similar to the police interceptor. Now underneath the hood, the cool thing you get to see is this performance GM performance air box, like the see-through cover so that you can see that performance cone filter in there. And then the rest of it comes down to liters of power. 6.2 liter V8 pumping out 433 horsepower, 467 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 5.6 seconds. Top speed around 125 miles an hour. Quarter mile goes by in 14 seconds flat. You could still tow up to 7,000 pounds with this vehicle. MPGs, not the greatest. 14 in the city, 18 on the highway. And just so you know, those Brembo brakes are 25% larger than your standard brakes on a Tahoe RST. But why don't we go ahead, this thing's got a cat back exhaust, why don't we fire it up and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we are inside this Tahoe RST performance package. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I need a full-size SUV. You know, my uh, son is in hockey, and I got to drive around basically the whole hockey team, so I need the room. But you know what? I like the idea of having a Tahoe that's equipped like a police interceptor. That kind of sounds very interesting to me. How much is this? Well, first of all, the performance package alone is around $8,000 additional to the price of a Tahoe RST. This one, the way that it's spec'd, has an MSRP right around $81,000. Let's see what you get for your hard-earned money to the door panels. I like the clean black style. You have bright red stitching. That's part of the RST. I love that kind of texturized material at the top instead of just doing like carbon fiber and stuff like that of course we have our chevrolet performance twinkie holder will hold four full-size twinkies and then you got enough room there for that foot long from subway get the meatball sub with extra parm and a nice large mountain dew to wash it down of course we got the bose sound system going from the door panel to the dash this is where they really helped with the materials there's that texturized trim I was telling you about that's on the door panels. It's also here on the dash. The red stitching, this leather style material feels really nice. You do have a pocket on the side to where you could put two 7-Eleven hot dogs or some of those egg rolls. You ever seen those weird dried up egg rolls that are spinning on the little heat thing at 
7-Eleven next to the hot dogs. That's where you can put those. They give you a little secret compartment. Now, I know a lot of you could probably think of something to put in here that you want to be sneaky about. What I would put in here basically is probably mm, maybe some blow pops and have, it's got some felt lining in there so it won't mess up the wrapper or anything like that. And then you just close it up. It's all almost hidden. You're going to get that nice size 10.25 inch infotainment system screen. One thing that GM does is I love the colors and the fonts and the graphics on all of their things when it comes to their infotainment system. You bring up the climate control, you're able to adjust everything right off the touch screen. If you notice, it's very fast reacting. You got Amazon Alexa. We could go into our climate control, which I already did. Kind of just had a brain fart there. Let me slide back over. You got your cameras. Look at the resolution. You could watch Radies rise right off the screen, the nice 360, and then you could change every which angle possible. I mean, the space shuttle did not have this many camera views and you have it on your Tahoe. Plus, of course you have Google Assistant. You also have where you could adjust the rear media. So we have media screens in the back. You could see what they're watching and you can lock or unlock. It's a really cool system that GM uses and I'm glad that this Tahoe has it. You do have your push-pull system for your 10-speed automatic. We have real knobs, real buttons, real switch gear, dual climate control. The one Zonk is you get your heated seats, but no ventilated seats. For $81,000, I deserve ventilated seats, USB-C, USB-A, 12 volt and wireless charging, two cup holders. Here's your key fob with the bow tie, Louis Chevrolet. Spin it around, you got remote start. And then you got probably one of the coolest center consoles every, anywhere. Nice, soft material. You open it up, you get enough room in here, I would say for eight Annie Ann's pretzels. And what you could do is you could put your little um, cups of mustard so you could dip your Annie Ann's pretzels. But watch this, this is my favorite part. Abracadabra, Alakazam, come alive, center console, do your thing. Voila, look at that. You have your power sliding center console. This is perfect for a purse, a purse, a bag, a sack, a satchel. You could put basically an eight pound bag of red delicious apples. And to be honest with you, I hate red delicious apples. Every time I bite into one, they're all mushy. Give me not, like a nice, I don't know, like a honey crisp. Uh, I'd even take a Granny Smith right about now, but don't ever give me red delicious apples. The name is a lie. They're red, but they're not delicious. You also have another secret compartment. So if you're the type of person that likes to keep secrets from somebody, this might be right up your alley, but I'm here to tell you that secrets don't make friends. Just saying. The seats, the leather, the stitching, nice style, nice bolstering. You do have electric assist for the passenger, electric assist for the driver. I think the other thing that's probably gonna bum you out that you're gonna scream zonk right about now, no sunroof whatsoever. But why don't you come over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this RST performance package. All right guys, here we are, business time behind the RST performance package Tahoe, two memory seat settings. You got the Chevrolet sill plate. And then look, what's nice is you have an aluminum brake pedal and also throttle, but I wish they would have gave me an aluminum dead pedal. It's a good size, just make it match. That's all I'm asking. You do have your power seat controls, easy to get to. I'm six feet tall and obviously there's plenty of room in here. Steering wheel, the leather, the red stitching throughout, the blacked out bow tie. I like this dark gray trim, really clean. You do have heated steering wheel and you do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel as on top of that, plus, you have your 4x4 system, including hill descent control. And then to just knock it out of the park, you got that nice large digital display with your different driving modes. Of course, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in sport mode when we go on throttle. The other thing that's missing, no head up display. I know if, if I want something police interceptor-esque, I would like a head up display. But why don't we get into the mid row and the third row and see if the Tahoe's bringing it big in the RST performance package. All right guys, here we are, mid row and third row time. What's nice is, is you're gonna have plenty of usable space 
for your passengers. They do have these captain's chairs and I have to commend Chevy. They give you a wide enough armrest. So that's a big plus. Look at what we have, the rear seat entertainment, 13 inch touchscreens. You have your Wi-Fi hotspot to where you can watch Radies Rise. Look at that beautiful Z06. I remember that day taking that car out on the track. That was a really, really good day. The leather, of course, you got your wireless Chevrolet, of course, headsets, perfect place to keep them. A Little bit of a command center here. You got your rear AC controls, temperature, blower fan, same thing though, just heated seats, no ventilated seats, but you got your USB-Cs, HDMI, and home power source. I have my own monitor here, and what I like is how the screen actually moves. It's really solid, it doesn't feel like droopy, like after a couple years, it's just gonna be dangling down. Maybe some of you are dealing with those problems, but when it comes to slide, plenty of slide action, plenty of recline action, and then of course, we gotta talk about the back seat. Now there's a couple ways you could do this. I can pull, move out of the way, and then I'm gonna pull this, and look at what we have. Plenty of room, let me go ahead and pick up my seat here. Plenty of room in that third row. Ah, uh, what the heck. I told Steven we weren't gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, just get back here. What I love about these full-size SUVs, as you can see, my knees are low because we have that independent rear suspension. Knees are low plenty of room so all the people that complain why does my telluride not have enough room in the third row why does my palisade my pilot my cx90 get yourself a full size and you won't have to worry about it anymore and you got usb c's back here but when we get into the cargo area because this is another area where you're going to blow the competition out of the water in hey guys top. cargo area time kind of simple you're just going to hit that button nice electric assist what is also great is that you could pop that rear glass if you want to pop the rear glass without opening the rear lift gate. So that's a nice touch as well. But the awesome news is, is that when you go RST performance package, you don't have to compromise on any of the room. You're still getting plenty of space, over 13 cubic feet of space. You got all of your switch gear to fold down the seats. Plus you got a home power source. And then watch how nice the seats fold down. You just hit the button for that third row. Kind of have to hold your finger on the button. Once they fold down though, that's gonna expand your cargo area. And then of course you could fold down the mid row. Now, one thing I want Steven to kind of show off is that you could see those USB C's I was telling you about that are located in the back seat area, along with the cup holder and the yogurt parfait holder as well. Make sure you have a spoon because it would be kind of gross to eat it with your hands and not a spoon. But you hit that, it closes down. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go freaking on throttle in this Radiant Red RST Performance Package Tahoe. All right, guys, we are inside this 2023 Tahoe RST Performance Pack. We're gonna go on throttle. On throttle, here we go. Nice. The sound of that 6.2 liter V8. Nice, smooth shifts. And the best news too, like I said, is you have that beefed up brake system that is 25% larger brakes than your standard Tahoe. That is really gonna allow you to take advantage of this complete package. You got the different springs, the different shocks, the chassis adjustments, and of course, more horsepower. Now sitting behind the wheel, you're gonna feel comfortable. Of course, you have all of your safety features, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, emergency brake assist, but it is fascinating just how well this Tahoe RST performance package handles. On those brakes, you don't get a bunch of nose dive. Normally on a Tahoe, that nose just drops for the ground. I mean, look at this all the way around and then it just pulls nicely smooth shift from that 10 speed automatic allow this vehicle to stay extra stable whether it's on throttle whether it's in a turn or on the brakes it really manages weight transfer super well and that is really going to allow you to feel comfortable, confident, and just 
know that you're in a special tune package. It's not just that they added a cool looking air box and larger air intake and a cone performance filter. You're getting quite a bit different touches through the system to give you the complete package. Plus, I think it looks killer in this radiant red with the 20 inch wheels and those Pursuit Police Interceptor Firestone Firehawk tires and the quad exhaust, the quad tip exhaust out the back not only looks good, but obviously sounds phenomenal as well. Not too loud, no sound is being pumped in. It's not like you're hearing a bunch of different noises coming in through the speakers. It's the real deal Holyfield noise coming from the back of this SUV. My thing is I wish they would have called it a Tahoe SS. Call it a Super Sport, makes sense. It's a Chevy thing. And I think you could have had something a little bit more recognizable. I guess if you're looking for a SUV that's gonna stand out, unless somebody really notices the little touches, it does kind of blend in with the rest of the Tahoes. And I don't know how you feel about that. That might be a really good thing. You don't wanna stick out like a sore thumb. But definitely what they're gonna notice is when you go on throttle and you hear that glorious 6.2 liters of V8 power. So smooth. And then like I said, getting on the brakes, the nose drops a little bit from weight transfer, but it doesn't just drop to the ground. And then the handling, really, really nice. It almost makes you feel a little bit like you're an undercover cop going after people. Kind of cool in that sense. Digital gauge cluster is phenomenal. All the different storage that I showed you from underneath the center console to the wireless charging. I mean, it's just if you want a sunroof, you're going to be a little bit bummed out. And obviously, if you wanted the ventilated seats or a head-up display, you're going to be a little bummed out. But other than that, when it comes to the true meat and potatoes of performance, whether it's performance and braking, handling, or acceleration, this definitely ups the ante for the Tahoe, which don't forget is a full-size SUV, not a midsize. I mean, this, the way you're able to pass people very easily, and then like I said, if you need to get on the brakes, the brakes are so freaking good, especially those six pot Brembo calipers. But let's get on onto the highway and the byways around here and see how this thing drives down the road. Of course, I have it in sport mode that's gonna adjust the shifts and everything with the transmission. But I think that with the 20 inch wheel, and the tires that this has, it really drives super smooth, very comfortable, and it doesn't feel, like in the handling department, it doesn't feel as large as you think. But really, so unique of Chevrolet to bring something like this to the table when it comes to their Tahoe. Yes, Ford has an Expedition Stealth package. You could go that route. That does some of the same things, but you're not getting a naturally aspirated V8, that's for sure. You're not getting all the police interceptor tune pieces of the suspension and the brakes like you do on this Tahoe. And then of course, Dodge or Ram, they don't sell a full size SUV. They got the Durango, that's a midsize but on throttle, love that sound. Can never get old, will never get old to me, but I'm hoping that this has been a really good overall review of what this performance pack RST, that Tahoe RST is bringing for 2023. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been a wild and crazy day out here on Rady's Rides with this Tahoe RST performance package. We got to thank everybody. Cody, Catherine, 
whole crew at Chevrolet for getting us access to this mean and lean SUV machine. Let me know what you think. Is it the best new full-size segment SUV when it comes to performance and that versatility? Let me know in that, down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man of the hour. He's sweaty. He looks like he just put baby oil all over him. But that's what he normally likes to wear in the sun for a better tan. Stephen Flood working that camera. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.